Is my voice too low, by the way? Do I make, do I put it do I put it a little bit higher? I can increase the volume of it. Put it louder a bit. Okay, hold up. How does it sound now? Perfect. Nice. Joke's on you guys. I didn't change the volume. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's Twitch chat and I'll show him. Like, hey, your volume's too high or too low. I'm like, okay, then I change it. What do you think about it now? He's like, perfect. <laughs> that's good, man. That's good. Okay, I'm going against Volibear top lane. Seems good. You spoke louder instead. Man, I can't control. Like, I don't know. It, it, such small amounts of uh, increase or like. Increase in voice sometimes. You want to go a little louder sometimes. You go a little louder. Just, trying to, just people trying to feel like they have control over something bigger than them. Too real to their hands. Any big increases in your FPS? It's League of Legends, bro. You can't tell with League of Legends. You literally cannot tell. I had the most disgusting win in TFT last night. Did you? Did you just build Volibear and build up a bunch of items on him? Isn't, isn't TFT right now basically build a Kali or Volibear and put all the items on them? I feel like your whole stream in general is a bit quiet compared to other streams. Maybe. It's okay, I'm just uh, conditioning you guys to enjoy or like low low sound streams. So when you go to a so when you go to another streamer that has a lot of sounds and it's it's really loud everywhere, you guys are like, oh, this is giving me a headache, and then you come back to me. It's a great uh, strategy. Shyvana top? I don't. I don't think I'm doing Shyvana top, bro. I've seen people do, doing AP Shyvana top lane. So I don't. I don't really want to try it. You're, the last person we went against that did that was Rohammers, and he went like 0-9, and his team reported him. I feel like it might be good into people that don't know what they're doing. It could be good here, like in this MMR, but just, I don't really. I don't even want to risk it. It's been over a year now. No, I've been signed with CLG for like four months or something like that. Four. 
four months? Has it been four months? I think it's been four months. Four or five months. Damn, that long? You, right, Green? Time passes quickly. Actually, no, dude. It's been like three, four months, right? There's no way time passed that quickly. Four months. It must have been four months, yeah. Okay. Since April. CLG contract, how long, bro? They own me. I'm theirs for the rest of my life. It's over. I can't ever retire. I'm gonna be 70 years old streaming for CLG. We've heard 10 adaptive over the extra 10% scaling. Yeah, for, I mean, you don't need that. Dude. All the, most people still think that Riven needs to get to 45% CDR. The only reason I used to try to get 45% CDR was for the Q extension. You don't need to have 40% with Riven. As long, if you're, the Q is the main ability you want to be able to reset completely. W and E is nice, clear. It's obviously really nice to have it in a much shorter cooldown, but I already feel like I can kill my opponent all the time with just with 25% CDR. So like, you don't, I don't need the scaling. What exactly does it mean that you're streaming for a team? Does it implicate anything besides streaming? Anything else besides streaming? Well, most people join teams to just have sponsors and just have, basically it's like a they help each other out. You help the org, you get they get numbers, num numbers of viewership and all that, and then the street the person who's streaming also gets the benefits of working with them. You know. Why haven't you tried Fleet Footwork? I did, and I said it was troll. That card was here in the chat when I tried Fleet Footwork, and I said it was garbage. That card literally told me that, okay, listen, I don't use Conqueror because it's too OP, and it feels like I just win everything. But when I go Fleet Footwork, it feels um, fair. All right, well, I mean, okay, so it's not good. You're just doing it for shit. So, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Hey, I'm new with Riven. I would like to know what mechanics are the most important in Riven when beginning to practice. Just don't die to jungle. Practice that one. That's gonna be like your best bet of improving. <laughs> That's your best Riven mechanic right there. Is Electric Q fully Fally Riven so much worth on Conquer? Yeah, it's pretty garbage. You do more damage to Conquer all the time. At least like in an, in, a, in an extended trade. If you try to do a short trade, you can do more with Electric Q. But there's so much healing in this game, so much sustain that they just heal it back up. So you usually just want to go for an all in. If he walks up a little bit, I just chunk like 60% of his HP. If he tries to go for a single creep. If he's smart, he'll just let me have control of the lane. Mm, see, that was good. He got a little movement speed buff from his passive there. I couldn't reach him. Singe, smart player, pick one. Hey man, you know it's it's actually pretty hard to carry with uh, unless he's like broken as fuck and never dies and does too much damage. It's pretty hard to carry with Singe, unless he's broken. If he's broken, then then it's really really simple. But usually when the champion is a little bit weak, 
creating opportunities for your team to carry or as a tank with them is not too simple. I could have done another Q there, but I felt like it would have been too much for no reason. Okay. Hop on another pod just because I'm gonna be trading with them here. Hey, at least this guy is playing better than 90% of the other Singe players I usually go against because this guy hasn't died. Okay, well, he just uh, trolled. I don't know what that was. Aw, oh, tower ramp up damage. Not like this, man. Not like this. Okay, I got my SC car item. As he was praising them, he does that. Hey, man. Sometimes, sometimes it happens. He got nervous and he threw he threw his uh, <laughs> his combo before he could even reach me with his flat. I mean, think about it though. If he if he flings me with that and actually kills me. You guys would be pogging all over the like all over the fucking chat right now, but because he failed it by like one step, now you guys are making fun of him for the rest of the game. My team's getting rolled, by the way. I gotta carry this one hard. I, I think it's a good thing I picked Riven this game, though. He walks up a little bit. Whenever he uses his fling and his aftershock goes down, that's your opportunity to try to kill him for that duration where your aftershock is down. So if he ever tries fighting in those situations, you can potentially kill him. Wait a minute. See? He's a god! He just killed me. Actually a god. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take? That's that's true. No lie in that. Helicopter, I see you in my chat though. How you doing, man? Are you still, uh, you streaming every day? You, you, uh, you doing work, man? Sorry I haven't called you stream in a while. There's so many streams to watch, so many, so many, so many games to play, man. I can't catch your stream all the time, you know? What? Unlucky. This is this is a Stonewall lane past this point because I died like a fool. Okay, I don't know why he did that. I guess he thinks that he's tanky enough to survive it at that point, at the burst, but I guess he forgot that Conquer's a thing. Imagine trying all in a ribbon when there's Conquer in this game. I'm gonna get one plate and go back. against reverting conquer? Hell no, because then we have no keys to them. Actually, a lot of champions would not have a keystone then, and then we would probably just end up doing electric Q and then just waiting to scale up until we have last whisper, black cleaver death dance. Instead of having black cleaver death dance, you need three items to reach power spikes. I mean, I, I, I guess it would, I wouldn't really necessarily mind, but tanks would be super good if that was the case, if there was no conquer.
the hit minions and fight Minionata Keystone. But no, it was even more broken back then. Dude, w w when when it was that version of Conquer, it was even more broken, but I guess the less people knew how to play with it. And that's how it is, man. I guess it's just... Difficulty, difficulty in using it changes up a lot of the uh, win rates on the Keystone. Old Conquer, I could one-shot this guy anytime I wanted, the one that I just stacked with minions. And it, because it would give you, the moment you engage on someone, you'd have their five stacks. Let me make a roam mid lane. Do you think it'll nerf it again? Conquer? Hell no. If they nerf it again, then it's, it's not even worth ever taking. Why are you, bro? What are you doing? Just, just. Okay. I guess I gotta do everything myself. Unreal, man. Just. Just push him into tower so that minion wave tanks it for me. So what? He dies before he presses. Can't react to flash W, bro. It's instant. Are you human? Holy fuck, okay, hold on. Let me stop myself from flaming. He can predict it. You cannot predict a flash W on top of yourself. It just doesn't work. It's it. holy fuck, my eyes. All right, let me see if I can go catch this guy back here. Actually, I'm gonna rotate mid. Yo, wait, just kill this guy. Okay, you just flash and you just ghost. What that lets me do now, even though I lost a little bit of CS, is that it lets me kill him if I ever get in, in the range of him. If he flings me at the wrong time. Unreal, that's a new one though, man. That, that That's insane. What a weird game. I need black, my black fever, I have it really soon. Yo, Olaf, come. Olaf! Olaf! There you go, there you go. Auto attack him. There you go, auto attack that guy too. You got him. There you go, now kill this guy too. Throw your axe? Oh, okay. Oh, that's, that's worth it. It's hella worth it. I'm gonna TP bottom and kill their bot lane with, that, with this ward here, because they don't really know it. But they don't see that it's uh... Yeah, we can play in 8 seconds. Wait, you're TPing before me? You have no HP! What are you- what's your plan?! What a waste.
What a waste. Why did you TP, Silas? Uh. Alright, let me grab, let me go middle and push that wave up. This is Diamond 2 MMR. See. Hey, addiction, thanks for, the, thanks for the donation, buddy. Man, this is just nutty. Unlucky game. I don't know about unlucky. I need my Black Fever nuts. 35% city R, I'm really, really strong. Let's go. Can this guy push the wave up for me? It's a real question. Push. Oh, I tried using my... Wait, wait. Okay, can you get two? If it's if you can get two, okay, no, you only got one. I could. I tried using my W, like, throughout the, the third queue, but my E timing was already missed, so that was bad. Okay, let's get this. How much EC do they have? A little bit. Let's get this, then. Yeah, well, sword. Okay, bot should go top lane now. Actually, this dragon's coming up, I can still keep going top lane. How good is Olaf top? It's really strong early, but then he becomes a caster creep as he scales into the game, so he's not really the greatest top laner to pick. This is would be pretty good actually. I'm not gonna TP. You know what? I'm not gonna buy anything yet. Even the healing reduction. Volibear needed to just fling someone, man. Yeah, I, didn't, I never knew Singe could do that. Singe can do W, Flash, E, and then like place you in the same... I never knew he could do that. That's new. To me, at least.
Yo, I can TP in 8 seconds. The, the objective fights are happening like 3 seconds before I get to. Yo, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, Silas. Silas, come, come. What, like, what took you so long? Okay, well, guess not. This game is really, really awkward. I need a couple of items to be able to carry this, so... I need Death Dance, Maw, and Last Whisper. And then this game is mine, but it's a lot of gold that I need to take. Mm, you shouldn't do this, because they saw you. They could just kill you. And hit bottom. Stun him, there you go, and then fling him. There you go, man. I feel like I want to play, uh, whenever I use, whenever I see champions like that, I, I want to be the one. Don't move into me! It knocks me up, friend. I'm dead. I hate this. Okay, wait. Should I get this before I even get Death Dance? No, I need Death Dance really bad. Rexa has an old team. So Oliver should be able to get away. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. It's dead. Whew. I've been fucked so hard this game by teammates. But I, I've ma I made a bunch of mistakes too, so. Can't really flame him. Okay, let me see. Let me go bottom. They're all so tanky too. At least the Sin from Rex time. This guy is quick. 481 movement speed? Dear god, he's faster than my dashes. It's like he's perma dashing. The, the Riven dash is 475 movement speed. Dude, can you reach him? That'd be sick. Yo, bro, we need to do something more. Yeah, what elo is this? Diamond 3 Riven, Diamond 2 Singe, Diamond 1 Nautilus. Jesus, this is, this is, this is high elo. What the hell? Oh, that's my work done. That's insane though. What the hell? This is high elo chat. It's crazy.
They're all D5 season 8. Yeah, I know. But that's like... It goes to show, man. I get I get these same players when I play on my 1k LP account. But I'm this account is like D4, D3, or D2 right now. Whatever the hell it is, I forgot what it is. That's crazy to me. That before Echo comes up? Probably not. Well, we can now. Actually, I don't know. Probably not. Oh wait, this blue buff is up? Wait, 45% CDR, here I go, man. I only have 35 right now. Let's go. That was an interesting fight. I don't know the Olaf, I'll have to good. Watching your stream always makes me think of Solid Calibur for some reason. In what way? Is it just the atmosphere? <laughs> 